Hi, Greg Muse, Advancement Director at Harding School of Theology, giving you a sneak peek of the art that's available at Lydia's Remnant. In front of you, you see an oil done by Dot Douglas, a friend of our school. Dot has painted since 1967. You can see that she has really developed a technique and she is so gracious to donate some landscapes that uh, you see in front of you and some others that you're going to see in just a moment. Now, this is a great piece by Carolyn Jo Cannon, who is um, a friend of a friend of the school, and this piece has been donated by that friend. And as you can see, Carolyn does still life, oil on canvas, and there is her biography. Uh, as you can see, we are in the process of putting the show together. We're still collecting pieces. So uh, what you see is, is uh, just a part of what will be in the show. Another piece by Dot Douglas, Blue Heron. Here's one of my favorites called Eye of the Zebra. Great for a kid's room. Here's another artist. This is Boots Condry. And she has painted a uh, seascape. She calls A ah, Majorca. At the top is a uh, seascape by Dot Douglas. And below is Bonnie Irish Spring by Olivia James. Uh, a relatively new artist, she's very young but has great talent. This is um, a chalk on paper by David Douglas, a donation from a friend of the school. Uh, and this is one of our youngest artists. Her name is Naomi Carter, and she is the daughter of Dr. Matt Carter here at the school. And she has uh, found a new way to use wood and she has painted on the wood, and we call this betta fish. Here you have a very uh, moving portrait of Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, this is pencil on paper done by Jesse Sanders. Uh, another floral by Dot Doug Douglas called Iris, obviously. A uh, donation by a friend of the school. Hysteria, 1954, the artist is Sutherland. Here's an interesting uh, oil on canvas called Epiphany by Jenilyn Krulish. And uh, this is a uh, watercolor. Uh, this is actually a scene from Overton Park done by Steve Rutland. And here you see another portrait by Jesse Sanders. This is Representative John Lewis. This is a, a great uh, piece. Uh, it's called Mountain Lion, obviously, by Carolyn. Joe Cannon, you saw her piece earlier. This is oil on canvas. Uh, children love this one. They, uh, they think that's live. And then another part of the animal kingdom, a rooster, done by Boots Condry. Here's Hollyhocks by Dot Douglas. And in front of you, you have uh, photography uh, put on a uh, poster board uh, by another friend of the school, Clay Fowler. Uh, these are his personal shots, and as you can see, he's put uh, a phrase or uh, a verse with uh, each one. They're really quite beautiful, uh, suitable for maybe an office setting, certainly for the home, and all donated for the benefit of the HST fund. That's a great uh, Memphis skyline. Uh, this is by uh, another artist, Anthony Perkins. Uh, he has a spray technique. This is actually a, a reproduction, but we have the original as well. And this is the Milan Sitka building at Fried Hardman University. Actually, the building is no longer there, so this is a, a keepsake, and we have prints of this for sale. Now here's something different. We have the original 
of this reproduction. The reproductions are for sale, but uh, as you can see, uh, it is a very moving composition uh, describing the cost of freedom, a uh, topic that's in the news right now and uh, always is. So uh, these are available for sale at the Lydia's Remnant. No art sale would be complete without a uh, copy or reproduction of the Peaceable Kingdom. Uh, if you have been in any elementary school, you've seen uh, a copy of this, this picture. So uh, we have been given uh, a copy and we have offered that for sale. Now we're moving back into more oil on canvas. Uh, this uh, <laughs> pastoral scene is called Moo Cows by Dot Douglas. Here's a, a classic sunflower composition by Boots Condry that uh, reminds me of Van Gogh and of course she calls it Hello Van Gogh. Uh, she's also done this uh, looks like a poppy field and she calls that arty party because uh, it's a it's a bunch of artists painting the same barn. And here is Boots Condry again with rose by another name. This is a rose that only Boots would compose in her head and she's done a fabulous job with it. This is another Boots Condry composition, Café La Petite, and it is sold. We, uh, of course, are putting the show together. As I've mentioned, uh, we're still receiving pieces, but uh, Already, uh, we've had some visitors come through, and uh, this one is sold. It'll be in the show, but, but it's already sold. Uh, this is a very neat watercolor. It's called Spring Leaf. Uh, it was a donation to the school. Beautiful frame. Same with grape leaves. This is a, a pencil on paper, a very modest composition, and uh, it's done by Lynn Powell. This is Dixon Gardens, 1981. The uh, Dixon Gallery sold these uh, by this artist, uh, Louise Donovan, and we received this in uh, donation from a friend of the school. And you may have seen this, but it's a, a beautiful frame and matting and uh, will be great in a home. Uh, this fall landscape is by Lorene King and it was a donation. Great frame. And these are lilies by Doc, Dudley, du, Doc Douglas, uh, and she has framed this one really well. Uh, this is a very neat watercolor by the daughter-in-law of a friend of the school. Uh, the artist is Laura Michael, and uh, I'm, you, I'm sure you can read it, but we've titled it Always Kiss Me Goodnight, a good motto. This is an oil on canvas by Janet Reeves, and uh, she calls this Spring Bouquet. One of the stars of the show has to be this composition by Ann Copeland. It's called Southern Bouquet. Ms. Copeland is uh, an Atlanta area native, and she has had gallery shows, and uh, we are very fortunate to receive this in donation, not by the artist, but by a friend of the school who purchased this painting, or who owned this painting, and has given it to the school with the hope of, of selling it for the benefit of the HST fund. This is all on canvas, a great, composition, uh, uh, great brush strokes. Uh, if you're seeing this in person, uh, it looks like you can literally pick the flowers out of the vase. One of the most original pieces we have in the show is this beautiful poem, Prayer of a Tree, written by Dr. Matt Carter and donated for the sale. Uh, the poem, is uh, attached 
and I'm not sure what the technique is, but it's on metal. It's a, it's a, a metal uh, <laughs> portrait of this of this poem. Uh, the words are important, but I think the the way it's presented is just really unique. If you see those light bulbs in the uh, the shot. That just tells you that we are making sure there's plenty of light in the gallery for the show next week. Uh, everything is in preparation for Lydia's Remnant. We're receiving pieces every day, so uh, this is just a sample. But I wanted you to see this sample. This is by a, uh, a student. Uh, her name is Jenilyn Krulish, and we call this How Far Will She Go? It's a paper collage and pencil on canvas. Uh, I can't des describe it. You'll have to come and, and see it, but uh, it belongs in a, a, a young girl's room. It's a, a very uh, inspirational and aspirational composition. Here is a, a gallery sweep of our artist Jessie Sanders. You've seen a few of her pieces in the, uh, the main room, but we have hung these together so you can get an idea of her talent. You should recognize some of the portraits. In fact, all of the portraits are famous people. And uh, she really has an eye for detail and she can really capture a mood. So this is Jessie Sanders. This is a uh, series of watercolors that Jeff Atnip has done. He has a unique um, talent, as you can see, and his specialty is doing watercolors of, of homesteads, of, of people's homes, especially uh, if they are relocating. Jeff will take a picture and uh, do a watercolor so you have a keepsake of, of your home. I think it's a, just a great idea. Now here are a few stars of our show. These are handcrafted mugs from Bell Tower, and we're very proud of them because as you can see, it has the HST logo embedded into the ceramic. That's a handcrafted mold, and uh, so those are gonna be offered for sale. We're gonna pair them with craft coffee, either bean or ground. So uh, a great gift idea, and of course, great support for the HST fund. Again, the sale is for the benefit of the HST Fund, so you want to come early to pick out the best pieces. Uh, the sale is Friday, June the 1st, 3 to 6 p.m., Saturday, June the 2nd, 9 to noon at Cherry Road. Prices range from $25 up to $1,000, so there's something for you at the sale. Lydia's Remnant. We hope to see you there.